So you've got these hot water particles splashing on your face. The steam is everywhere. And at this point, I thought I was in hell. Like I thought I was in the devil's pit and he was just kissing my face, like just licking it and spitting his spit on me. It was so hot. Like when I tell you it was hot, it was hot. Hello, hello, I am back with another video. Can we believe that I managed to put two out so far? Crazy after like a three, four, maybe five month hiatus. <laughs> but anyway, hello, I am back with another video and I'm continuing with the Meet the German series, which is on Deutsche Welle. And it's basically about all the cultural differences, nuances, weird things that you as a foreigner would run into here in Germany, at least Maybe as a foreigner who grew up in a Western culture. I mean, I don't know. I can only speak for myself because I grew up in the U.S. So today we're going to be talking about nudity. Yes, kids, cover your eyes. Parents, stop blushing. We're talking about nudity. I have to say when I first moved to Germany, this was something that caught me off guard. They, but yeah, let's see what this video has to say before I jump into some of my experiences with it here as well. It's 90 degrees Celsius. I'm sitting in a cramped, dimly lit wooden hut with about 40 strangers, and we're all naked. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> when I first came to Germany, a friend of mine actually invited me to go to a sauna with her. And I thought in these saunas you would wear clothing, like not clothing, obviously, you're not going to wear clothing in a sauna, but at least wear a bathing suit, right? But in Germany, they actually, I believe, make it mandatory that you go in without anything on at all whatsoever. And even in some areas, you walk around without clothing on. And I remember how shook I was. I was like, like wait, I have to be naked? in front of all these people yeah. but i have to say that was probably one of the coolest experiences ever because i think the first 10 to 15 minutes you feel super self-conscious super awkward and you feel like all those insecurities that you have about your body you're just like obviously out for the world to see but then like after a while you kind of realize like nobody's looking at you nobody cares everyone in that room is just as maybe uncomfortable as you are or has probably gotten over it and i felt like after about 15 minutes of feeling like, oh my god, I'm naked, what is this? I was like, okay, actually, it's okay, I don't really care. And I had a blast at the sauna, but yeah, let's continue and see what Meet the Germans has to say about this some more. The first time I visited a nude sauna in Germany, I was way out of my comfort zone. Yep. But soon I noticed that nobody seemed particularly interested in anybody else's naked bodies. I don't care. In fact, if anybody was staring, it was me, simply yeah. because I'd probably seen more naked bodies in that first half an hour in the sauna than I had in my entire life. They were all shaped. Let me tell you, that is a fact. <laughs> I was like, oh my God, what is this? I've never seen so much. I think I walked in there. You know what? Let me not make this comparison. <laughs> Let's just keep going with the video. Shapes and sizes on display and the full range of body hair. It was fascinating, educational almost. Visiting the sauna is a regular pastime for millions of Germans, but do you really need to be in the nude to enjoy this hobby? Daddy. I believe actually not only Germans, but generally Scandinavian and Northern Europeans uh, culture tend to do this quite often. So just generally, I believe even someone told me about going to Sweden and this was part of like their work trip going to the sauna with each other so yeah something to keep in mind but that's what i've heard die bessere gegenfrage ist warum nicht es ist halt nicht schlimm es ist ja kultur warum ich glaube weil es schon immer so war also ich weiß nicht man geht wahrscheinlich nie begleitet in die sauna also es ist was hygienisches vielleicht ist es hygienischer weil es mit kleidern unhygienisch ist ich nehme an dass der körper eine größere fläche hat sich äh, ja erwärmen zu lassen weil man gut schwitzt das ist auch eine gewisse Art Barrieren zu überwinden. Wenn man da irgendwie den ganzen Tag verbringt, dann hat das auch keine große Bedeutung mehr, dass man gar keine Klamotten anhat. Sure, it can feel pretty liberating to bear all, but the freedom is not absolute. There are strict rules that must be adhered to if you want to be accepted among the sauna clientele. As you've probably gathered by now, the first rule is no clothes. Number two, there must be a towel between your skin and the sauna bench at all times. Yes, uh, there are rules there, but I do have to say something that also caught me off guard was that 
and not all of them but in some places that you go to a sauna children are allowed and like some families do this as like a family excursion so mother father children are also there so if you're really really uncomfortable with being naked on top of it seeing other people naked yeah there might also be children there but what I do think of the beauty of the experience is that nobody's really looking at you nobody cares like you're everyone is there for the same reason just to relax enjoy sweat a little that's all and yes make sure you put a towel under yourself that is definitely for hygienic reasons rule number three no talking under any circumstances Shh. yeah no you don't talk in there you can whisper if it's just you and a friend and maybe one other person you can talk very quietly maybe you might even start a conversation with somebody but for the most part you don't talk in there it's a very quiet serene experience and i think honestly that's why i like it so much because it's just so relaxing that was just my opinion. The highlight of any trip to the sauna is the alpha which translates roughly as infusion. This is the ultimate sauna experience. Here's how it works. You arrive at the designated time and find a spot in the sauna. There are usually two or three rounds, which get progressively hotter. In between each round, you might get the chance to go outside and cool down, and form an orderly naked queue for the showers. Kudos to anyone who takes a dip in the ice bath. Each alphabus generally has a theme of sorts. The water ladled over the hot coals will be infused with something like coconut or eucalyptus. If you're lucky, at some point, little dishes of coffee scrub, salt or honey will be handed around. The sauna will become a hive of activity as people slather their bodies from top to toe in honey. Sweaty honey. An alphabus is led by a sauna master. They keep order in the sauna, do the ladling and perform the all-important towel dance to waft the hot air into every corner of the room. Yeah, so I have a little mini story about this. So uh, some years ago, maybe two, three years ago, a friend of mine and I, we decided to go to a sauna together and we tried out all of the different types of saunas. We started off on the lightest, the very dry heats, the moist heats, all of those kinds of things. And then eventually we went on to the hottest setting of the sauna. And we were like, well, I mean, we survived one, we survived two, we survived three and four. We can do five. I mean, how hot can it be? And so when you're at the sauna place, they usually have a ratings of how hot these like alfgus are going to be. So me and her were like, okay, let's go to the hottest of the hottest. We did everything. We conquered it all. We got this. So we get in there and we sit down. We're like, all right, it's hot, but it's all right. And like, I think we're probably around 40 people in this room. So like, we're all kind of packed next to each other, sort of like sardines just sitting there like this. And we're like, all right, we've got this. No big deal. So we're sitting there. And then it starts to get hotter and hotter. And I'm like, it's, it's all right. It's okay. It's cool. It's fine. But then you can feel like as the heat is getting hotter in the room, you can feel your pores are sort of open. And then when you're sweating, your sweat is getting into your pores. So it burns. So this is something that's part of the sauna experience that sometimes your pores will open and it will burn when your sweat gets into it. But we were sitting there like, geez, we're like, we got this. It's cool. He's fine. So then uh, the sauna master comes in and he adds some steam into um, the coals, this like steam with eucalyptus in there and it starts getting hotter and I'm like, oh, it's getting hotter. But you know what? There's children in here. If the kids can do it, I can do it. We're going to thug it out. So I'm sitting there. I'm like, all right, it's cool. It's cool. It's fine. That's fine. And then that towel demonstration that she just did. So this guy comes out with some eucalyptus leaves, dips them in some, I don't know, hot water or something, brings it out and just starts fanning it around the room. I look like I'm doing a dance. like, But anyway, he starts fanning it around the room. So you've got these hot water particles splashing on your face. The steam is everywhere. And at this point, I thought I was in hell. Like I thought I was in the devil's pit and he was just kissing my face, like just licking it and spitting in his spit on me it was so hot like when i tell you it was hot it was hot so i'm sitting there trying to act like a thug i'm like it's cool it's cool i got this i got this it's all right i got this and then i was like i don't got this i don't got this and i just run out of the room and then my friend follows and then all of a sudden there's like 15 people behind me it was one of those things where i was sitting there and i was like well shit I wonder who would have broken first. It was like all of us were waiting for one person to break so we could get out of the room. But after that, I got to go sit in the pool outside, which was really nice. So they always keep these things at a relatively nice temperature. And I love sitting in a pool outside at night when it's cold, but the water is warm. Oh, favorite experience. But yeah, when you go to a sauna and this thing tells you it's a five out of five and it's hella hot, believe them. Get 
but leave them. Or don't try to be a thug, just leave when you think it's too hot. <laughs> but yeah, that was my experience. An en masse sweat session in the nude. If it's not what you're used to, it sounds bonkers. But don't knock it till you've tried it. So one other thing that really caught me off when I first moved to Germany was that they have this FKK, like I said, this Fry, fry Koppel culture here in Germany. And oftentimes these people like to be just nude. They are a nudist association. And when you go to lakes or certain beaches or certain things here in Germany, there are areas specifically for those people. And I remember my first couple of weeks in Germany, I went to a lake with a friend of mine and we were swimming around and then I see like these people at a distance and I'm like, hey, naked? No, 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 no. Maybe they're just like wearing like a nude color outfit like bathing suit you know like no they can't be naked so we start swimming and i'm just like chilling in the water relaxing and all i see in front of me just booty cheeks just just floating by just floating by and then this old man's like hello just keeps on floating by and i was like what the heck and then you're going around and then you're just surrounded by naked people and you're like ah okay and i think for a lot of Germans, this is like rather okay, but for me, I was just so caught off guard. I was like, why are these people naked? Oh, they're everywhere. I see a lot of booties that I didn't want to see. Ay. But yeah, that was something that really caught me off guard. And I find it a little bit ironic because I tend to find Germans more conservative in nature. Like once I was with a group of girls and I said something about how like my sticky bra was falling off because it was just so hot and I was sweating and they were just all like oh my god did she really say that in public I'm like oh my god who just says that so I find them generally very I mean this is just one example but in general I find Germans to be rather conservative people but yet when it comes to nudity they're just like yeah it's culture it's culture it's natural it's nature it's okay which is kind of ironic to me because in the States, I think we have a very open culture in a way, very loud, very in-your-face culture. But when it comes to nudity, we don't show it. Like, you don't go to a sauna completely naked. At least I don't know of a sauna that you do go completely naked to. And also, like, even on TV, we just don't show the whole body. Like, there's always, you know, when you show a breasts, for example, the nipples are always covered out with... Uh, little blurry images so I just find it a little bit weird that here in Germany they're just so open about nudity and everything but yet they're so conservative it's a little bit in a way I don't have a, for lack of better words I would say I won't say an oxymoron but contradictory in a way so yeah that's been my experience in Germany with nudity I think over the years I've gotten a lot more comfortable with it am I comfortable with nudity as a whole no I still act like a child get giggly a little bit uncomfortable but yeah, that was uh, the sauna culture and nudity in Germany. I hope you enjoyed this video and we will hopefully talk some more later on. See you guys.